I'm Jeff Williams with Toolbox Buzz and today we're talking 10 inch worm drive table saws. Skillsaw now has two of them on the market and today we break them down to help you decide which one to buy. So stick around after the break. Back at the end of 2015, Skillsaw announced the first ever worm drive table saw, the SPT-70 WT-22. About two years later, the brand announced another table saw. That one is the SPT-99-12, also with worm drive, but this one was touted to be more powerful than the first one. So how do you decide which saw to get? Let's start with the basic. What's a worm drive? Worm drive is a gear train that has a motor at 90 degrees to the output. To achieve this, a worm with spiral teeth meshes with a worm gear or wheel. Uh, and to contrast this, a sidewinder or direct drive saw uses spur gears which are straight tooth and the input and output are in line. So what's the benefit to a worm versus a spur? Uh, in a saw, this translates to greater torque in the worm drive setup. Uh, this can also mean a larger footprint though and mass. Uh, that size and weight matters if you're using a circular saw over your head, but less so in a table saw application. Uh, in table saw, power is usually one of the most important factors, so that's where worm drive uh, is a huge benefit. Additionally, the worm drive allows for greater depth of cut. That's a big plus in a table saw. So what are the similarities between these two saws? Most importantly, both saws offer the legendary skill saw worm drive gear train. This makes for a quieter and more powerful saw. Uh, this also allows for 3 and 5 eighths inch depth of cut. Pair that with the Diablo ripping blade and both saws can just hog through the wood. They flat out rip. Uh, they also both have a 3 in 1 safety guard setup that includes riving knife and a kickback pause, a blade guard, and, and all these store neatly inside the saw frame when not in use. Uh, they both run on a 15 amp 110 volt circuit and they both have controls right on the front of the saw uh, for power, depth, bevel, and the fence. Uh, they can both bevel from uh, minus one to 46 degrees and they can both use optional zero clearance insert. So what are the differences between these two? Uh, the main differences boil down to two things. Uh, the first being the fence and the second is the stand. Uh, so the fence. The rack and pinion fence on the SPT-99 is very similar to the DeWalt fence and it locks down very tight with just a flick of the lever. It's highly adjustable when released though. Uh, in fact, I usually just grab the fence with my hand and pull it to the right mark. It's faster than uh, spinning the dial. Uh, this fence also offers a greater rip capacity at 30 and a half inches versus 25 inches. Uh, one of the other huge differences between the two then, the second thing is the stand. Uh, the stand on the 70 is a compact little fold-up unit. Uh, versus the stand on the 99. It's also a fold-up unit, but it's permanently attached to the saw. Um, and it also offers support for sheet goods while cutting, as well as the most generous wheels of any tool stand I've ever used. Uh, at 16 inches, they roll up and over any job site debris you may encounter, and even work really well on stairs. The stand is awesome, but it takes up a big space. Uh, with the different motors in the saws, a 70 series versus 99 series motor, I thought there would be a difference in power, but to be honest, it's, it's not noticeable. Uh, they both had no issue with uh, full depth rip cuts in a chunk of red oak dunnage. Basically the biggest, thickest, hardest wood I could find. So decision time, which one do you get? Think about the features that are important to you. Uh, if you work out of a small trailer, the SPT-70 and its tiny storage footprint should be on your radar. Uh, you'll have to carry it though and deal with a lesser fence, I guess. The fence isn't bad, it just isn't as nice as the rack and pinion fence. Uh, the saw isn't really that heavy either, it's just 49 pounds. Uh, it's an easy one arm carry for just about any tradesperson. Saw in one hand, uh, stand in the other and you're good to go. If you work on gnarly job sites or have to go up and down stairs a lot, the 99 should be on your short list. The wheels on the stand are the biggest of any in the industry. And also the fence is right on par with the DeWalt, which is often considered one of the best of any job site table saw. Uh, the saw does take a, a large footprint though. Um, and finally, the last thing to may figure into a purchasing decision is the price. 
The 70 is normally priced 369 at Acme and can sometimes be found with a free stand. And then the SPT 99 is usually 499 and includes the stand. You'll have to decide if the fence and the wheeled stand are worth the $130 price difference though. Uh, so which one would you get? Go down in the comments and tell us which one and why. Uh, we want to know. Maybe there's something you thought of that we didn't. And as always, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe. Uh, I'm Jeff Williams, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.